Hi guys, this is Mike Wheeler from Mike Wheeler Media. I wanted to reach out to you today, specifically on April 6, 2018, and remind you that the Summer 17 maintenance exams for Salesforce certifications are due today, and so don't let your certifications expire. Now, if you have a certification due, today is the last day that you can do that, and I also wanted to speak about how to pass the maintenance exams want to make it clear that these maintenance exams are open book and they're not proctored, meaning that you can refer to uh, other resources in order to answer the questions. I just finished the renewal of my Summer 17 release on the last day, on the due date, and um, I also had to pay $100 for that maintenance exam. Every third exam up until now costs $100, so effectively for each certification it costs you $100 a year to maintain and renew. Now, starting in the summer 18 uh, release, or in the summer of this year, here in a few months, all of the maintenance exams will be moving to Trailhead, or at least part of them, the admin and platform app builder, and I believe developer one certification maintenance exams will move in a few months to Trailhead, and then all of the maintenance exams by like January of 2019. And so I did have to pay $100. It's the last time that I'll have to do that. So I'm very excited to be able to maintain my certifications on Trailhead instead of using Web Assessor, which can be buggy sometimes. But I did want to remind you that these exams are open book. There's a lot of confusion with some of my newer students when it's the first time that they've got to maintain their uh, certification and wondering if, uh, you know, how they're going to pass or what they should study and needing help. And so the thing that I recommend that you do, since it is open book and not proctored, is to just refer to the Summer 17 release notes from Salesforce. Download those, just Google that. I'll also provide a link in the description of this video for those release notes. And that is a downloadable PDF, and all you've got to do is read the questions. And there's five questions on the admin maintenance exam for Summer 17. Just read the questions and then just search for those keywords in the release note and that will take you to the specific section in the official release notes from Salesforce to give you the correct answers basically. And this is Salesforce's way of making sure that you stay up to date on the platform. So I'm seeing some questions related to lightning experience starting to creep into the maintenance exam. I'm not going to go into specifics. I do anticipate seeing some lightning specific questions on the actual certification exams in the near future as Salesforce begins to migrate people over to lightning experience more and more. And so I wanted to take just a moment though to just remind you that today's the day to renew your certifications and then if you're seeing this past April 6th of 2018, uh, the same holds true in the future for whatever maintenance exam that you're looking to pass for whatever Salesforce certifications that you uh, currently hold is that those maintenance exams are open book. And then also Salesforce does provide a uh, certification tracking tool so that you can enter in your email address and they will email you reminders and give you a report on what you have due and when it's due as well. I have a lot of students that have recently passed the certification. And so if you've passed a certification the past couple of months, you don't have this particular release due and you've got a lot of time before you have a deadline approaching for your first maintenance exam. So just rest easy, rest assured that these maintenance, maintenance exams are easy to pass and just use the official release notes from Salesforce. Don't just Google things and pull up some blog that you find online. There's a lot of incorrect answers out there. And I sometimes wonder if Salesforce even is behind some of that and seeding some incorrect answers just to uh, force you to their release notes. And so I wanted to do my part to help reinforce that. And I don't know if Salesforce does that or not, if that's just people that have no clue and mean well and are trying to help. But the main thing to keep in mind is that you want to go to the source for this information and it's all readily available in the release notes. There's a lot of great stuff in there. It's hundreds of pages long, and so I do encourage you to look at your particular sections that you're interested in as an administrator, developer, or whatever certifications you hold, either marketing cloud, service cloud, etc. So until next time, this is Mike Wheeler Media. Be sure to check me out at MikeWheelerMedia.com, and I'll see you there.